So what I should do now, put on my anti-static wrist band so I don't destroy my um, my newly acquired 3.1 Kickstarter chips ROMs. Earth it to the case, so discharge the static, and then wrap it around my wrist, I guess. Right, now, now I have my anti-static wrist window, look at that, very trendy, ooh, sexy. Anyway, I have that on now, so now I can attempt to please these chips away. So I will go to my hook set, and I'll, I'll attempt it with these two, I'm sure I've cleaned my ones in the past. These are the two I used. So, I shall attempt to do the same again. And you just underneath it like that, and with this you can just prise it up like that. That's it, just a bit at a time, both, both working both ends. Get over the, there's the chips. Okay, a bit Taking care not to damage the motherboard, and there you have it. Well, one of the pins, which is why you've got to be very careful. It's one of the pins that I've got a bit skewed with. Um, and look at that, it's relatively very clean. I'm quite impressed, actually. So that is one of the Kickstart ROMs right there. You see it's a 3.0 Kickstart ROM. That will go back in an anti-static bag, no doubt. Now for the second one. Again, now prise it gently. Let me see that. Get underneath it gently. Coach it out. So that one for that end, and this one for this end, because you need more leverage on this side, because you haven't got nothing, because the chips sits over, it sits over more this side. So you, you, you've got a bit more leverage here, but on that side, because it's not so flush, you need to get inside and under it, and this one's the better tool for that one. That's a much better job. <laughs> they didn't do half as there didn't been any pins on that one. And that's the second uh, kickstart roll that needs replacing. Right. So now I have my anti-static bag. And this was bought from the Mega Kit. There we go. And here. What are 3.1 chips? Nicely pre presented in the sponge. It's 3.1. See that? And the second 3.1. Fortunately, AmigaKit.com given some lovely instructions on how to place these buggers and where to place these buggers. There you go, look at that, it doesn't get any clearer than that, does it, eh? Alright, so ROM 391774, which is... Yeah, 391774, if you look at that number on there, you'll see clearly it does in fact say that. 
So that's the one that's going to go in the top slot. I've got to be very careful this one when we place it in. And it goes more to the right side than it does the left side. So you've got to make sure you line up the legs to the holes basically. See, you don't want and you want to put it in straight. You don't want you don't see that like, you don't want these legs bending like that. Very delicate. Don't fancy having a full pair for another set. Lovely. That's it. It's going. Right, that's the first one gone in. Bit of a bugger that one, wasn't it? So the trouble's got you see, see the legs, look. What was happening in transit? Legs have gone like a like a cheap hookers. They've gone wide apart, you know. They've gone really wide, so it's, it's not sitting in as it as it should. There you go. So I'm trying. You have to try. I mean, I don't. You don't want to bend them too much. You don't want to break them, you know. But very fragile things. But you know, we need these. That's it. That one was a bit easier, but even still, it could have been a lot easier. <laughs> we may as well put on the CD, the uh, CD one, the floppy drive. We need to put the floppy, floppy drive, and it's home here, like the so. So. What we need to do is bracket that came with the floppy, like that line, and it sort of clamps over like that. It's just slightly higher than it than the actual. You can see that it's a slight gap in there, but uh, right, okie dokie. So there's that, and the heat it is unbelievable. It's really humid in London. Not a nice heat. Not much in the way of breeze, fortunately, but that's all that's over here. Here we go. So now, what I need to do now is fix that to the motherboard. There's a little screw in there. I don't know if I can actually get that zoomed in there. I need to get this um, motherboard back together again. So let me go there. That one goes there like that. And that pins, it's the floppy pin in place, so that won't go walkies. And there's one here, which keeps the motherboard attached to the case. And as discussed before, there's one there, but that's screwed off from the outside. 